Welcome to New Hampshire's Business. I'm Fred Coker. Much of New Hampshire's water infrastructure, uh, including drinking water piping and wastewater piping, is 50 to 100 years old, and to replace it will cost hundreds of millions of dollars. With me to describe the aging water infrastructure in New Hampshire and what needs to be done is Tracy Wood, Administrator of the uh, Wastewater Engineering Bureau at the New Hampshire Department of Environmental Services, and Tom O'Donovan, Director of the Water Division of the New Hampshire Department of Environmental Services. Welcome to both of you. Tom, let me start with you in the drinking water infrastructure. And here's some facts. Infrastructure is severely underfunded by hundreds of millions of dollars. Underground pipes, pump stations, wells, treatment facilities, more treatment of arsenic and other contaminants is needed, and water supply rates are up. Tom, given all of that and the fact that there is some funding coming into New Hampshire, uh, about to come in, and probably more from the Congress eventually, what's your top priority for drinking water uh, replacement in the state? Our, our top priority is the safety of the people who consume the water. Uh, drinking water is absolutely essential uh, to humans, no, no question on that, and we have to make sure that that water is safe. And then partnered with that is making sure there's enough of it. It has to be water for drinking, it has to be water for industry, it has to be water for recreation, all these other uh, areas. And so those are the two that we're most concerned about. Uh, you know, there's about 2,600 water systems uh, across the state uh, that we have a role in making sure that water's safe and making sure there's enough of it. And this infrastructure funding, which is coming to us in packages, uh, the first package coming up is the American Relief Plan Act, uh, where that funding has already been signed into law by President Biden is now working its way through the Treasury towards us, all the way to the big infrastructure bill that you've been working on in your series. Now, Tracy, you administered the wastewater, or what we call used water, uh, engineering bureau, and here are some of the issues uh, on this graphic. Um, aging and failing of the wastewater system. Costly upgrades to meet regulatory requirements are needed. Collection uh, system piping, pump stations, treatment facilities and need to address uh, combined sewer overflows. Just some of the issues that you have to deal with, Tracy. What's your number one issue uh, uh, for wastewater improvements in the state? Our number one is really the aging and failing infrastructure that really encompasses the entire subject. Mm. Um, in New Hampshire, we have 70 municipal wastewater treatment facilities. Many of them are nearing their 50 year useful life. And basically a lot of these Facilities have been keeping their operations going on a shoestring budget and, you know, put keeping them together the best they can. Uh, New Hampshire was over a thousand miles of distribution of piping. Uh, just as an example, Nashua alone has 500 miles of collection system piping within its jurisdiction, wow. including wastewater, stormwater, and combined, and 14 pump stations. Mm. Manchester's right up there with them with 375 miles of sewer and um, 175 miles of uh, stormwater collection system. Um, most of their piping is 100 years or older. That's, that's such a graphic description that most people wouldn't even know about how many miles of piping there is. Um, let me just ask the both of you, uh, the, the most on people's minds right now is the drought that's been with us uh, last year and now again this year. Uh, just tell me about what's being done, uh, or if you're doing, uh, I know you have a team dealing with the drought. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm the chair of the statewide drought management team, and we, uh, we operated across 2020 as the drought uh, got very serious in the August, September, October timeframe. Uh, this year, we saw, again, low snowpack uh, across, uh, across the lower uh, half of the state, and we are now in uh, D0, that is abnormally dry for the full state, and about 45% of the state is D1, drought level one. Yep. So we have a variety of actions going on right now, the most important of which is information flow, making sure that the public and the water systems and the wastewater systems statewide understand uh, the conditions of the drought. Uh, we're monitoring it very closely in groundwater, surface water, uh, and other areas like that. And uh, we're also working an emergency drought assistance program, which we started last year, to assist well owners whose wells go dry, uh, who are financially impacted, uh, you know, low-income families, uh, by providing funding to put new wells in for them that are much deeper and can get to the water. You have a, a very interesting financing webinar uh, series starting this week. Uh, and here's a graphic. Uh, it's the water infrastructure financing, May 4th to 13th. Uh, it's about drinking water, wastewater, groundwater, as you know, stormwater, PFAS, remediation, and small systems. You register here at uh, des.nh.gov. 
Tom Donovan of the Water Division of New Hampshire uh, Department of Environmental Services and Tracy Wood uh, of the uh, department. Thank you so much.